Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome to today's video. I am diving into some new makeup, new to Sephora, new to the beauty industry in more or less of a term. So we are going to be talking about the Tres Luce, 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 Tres Luce, Tres Luce Beauty. And we're going to do a tutorial with one of the eyeshadow palettes and with the makeup brushes. If you guys like this kind of content, unfiltered makeup opinions, really easy tutorials, and indie makeup, subscribe to this channel. Hit the notification bell so you guys can be notified of future uploads, and let's get on into this video. Trisluche Beauty. This is a new brand on the Ulta Beauty website. It is an independent brand owned by Becky G. So here is one of her little six pan eyeshadow palettes. I received this one in a boxy charm and I absolutely fell in love with like how compact it is, the color story inside. So I wanted to show you guys and tell you more about this indie brand. This is the I Am Alma palette. It is a six pan eyeshadow palette with four neutrals and two pops of color in there. One's like a turquoise and one is like a grungy green. So it does give a lot of options for, you know, little pops of color on your eye. It's vegan, cruelty-free, Latinx, Latin, I don't know how to say that and I'm so sorry. And it is Blue Agave from Mexico. This palette does retail for $26 on the Ulta Beauty website and you can also buy it on the treslouchebeauty.com website. So you can find it in a couple of different places, but it is newer to Ulta. More about this brand, Becky G. She is the founder of Trezluche Beauty. Says, growing up, Becky loved to play with makeup. She would get into her mom's bag and was always encouraged to express her creativity. Becky would soon learn the craft and get better at doing her own makeup. It came as no surprise when by the age of 13, family members began asking Becca Becky to do their glam for parties. By 15, as an opening act for their major artists, she was doing her own makeup on the road. That same year, Becky landed a breakthrough opportunity, becoming the youngest cover girl spokesperson. This allowed Becky to be, for new generations, the representation she wanted to see growing up. Following cover girl and a handful of successful beauty brand collaborations, Becky was ready to take on her role as a beauty entrepreneur and created a brand that celebrates her culture keeping her Latin, Latinx community at the forefront always. Products are thoughtfully formulated and tested. PETA Beauty Without Bunnies approved. Trisluche Beauty is a cruelty-free and vegan-friendly brand. So I have here her four brush set as well. And this also came with a boxy charm. We have the B102, the 101, the 100, and the 121. Only brush set, not this one. This one's available on her website. The only actual available brush set that's like a full set on the Ulta Beauty website is actually the Like an Artist brush set. It's $35. It comes with face and eye brushes. So you can get some of her brushes on Ulta Beauty as well. And you can get the eyeshadow palette on Ulta Beauty for $26. Let's swatch these really fast for you. So here are the six shades from this palette. As you can see, it has some really beautiful neutral shades and then it also has two pops of color, like a turquoisey green and then a darker grungier green. I like this palette because it comes with three mattes, three shimmers. So it's equally balanced out in the palette and they're very pigmented. As you can see, these are all with one swiped. Clean fingers, they're, they're, it's so pretty. So let's put on the I Am Alma palette. We're gonna do, oh, like this is so pretty. We're gonna try to use as many colors as possible today. Actually, we might be able to get away with using all six shades, but don't hold me to it. And then we are going to be using the brushes that I received as well. We're gonna be starting off with the Trezluche B100. Ironically, that is the name of the <laughs> radio station where I grew up. Indiana people, you know what I'm talking about. So we're taking the middle, like, it's not really, it's like a peachy, sandy color, but it's a little bit darker. It is called Unica. And we're going to apply this to the crease. Bring it just up a little bit, just almost to the brow bone. 
These are like really easy to blend out and like look how pigmented that is. That's just one swipe, one dip into the pan. And I already have quite a bit of pigment in color. And these brushes are, this is really nice. Very pigmented, that is so pretty. Now we're gonna be taking the B121. I'm gonna use Alma, which is this shade down here. It is a dark, dark brown. We're gonna use this on the outer corner. Just stamping into it and then I'm gonna stamp it into my eyelid, into my eyelid, <laughs> onto my eyelid. Again, still tapping off all of the excess, but look how pigmented that is. So stamping it onto the outer corner and then I'm gonna go in with the B100 brush and I'm just gonna blend it all out. Bringing it more like right at the like center of my eye and stopping. Then we're taking the B100 and we're going to blend this. And I'm actually blending in so you can actually get some of the shadow to gradient into your eye and you're not getting any kind of weird transition on the outer corner. I found that technique like works really really well when you're working with a super pigmented shadow and you don't want to get some weird lines out here and I really like doing that. So I'm using just the 121 again and I am taking a look at the color because it looks a little uneven to me. So far we're doing really good so I am going to take I have a Glow Dewy Mist. I love using this as a, a wetting for my brush. Wetting. <laughs> I love to wet my brush with this when I'm doing like a really, really gorgeous like foiled inner corner or even like halfway across the lid. So I take the, this is the e.l.f. Glow Dewy Mist. I spray a flat brush. This dewy mist, it has coconut and argon oil in it, but it really gets the eyeshadow to cling to it and it really makes the eyeshadow last a lot longer. It's a way better, like it's way better than spraying with like MAC Fix Plus or anything. So we're going to take this shade right here. It's called Grateful and it's that beautiful like turquoisey metallic shade. I want to do something a little bit more spring-like today because it is just, it's snowing outside and I'm sick of winter. Springing forward also means that I lose an hour of sleep, my kids lose an hour of sleep. I can't put them to bed at like 6.30. No, I'm just kidding. I don't put them to bed at 6.30. But I think moms out there, leave me a comment in the, sec the comment section down below. Like, do you have that same problem when daylight savings time hits? Like, it's nice because all of a sudden your kids start sleeping in more, but they aren't really sleeping in more. And do they really have a hard time adjusting? Because I have noticed my kids have like the worst time adjusting to daylight savings. Look how pretty that is, by the way. And you don't get this kind of effect when you use just like a regular setting spray. I have found that using this Argon Dewy Mist, like it is so good. It like really just adheres. It almost turns it into like a cream and then it dries down like a powder. It's it's so interesting what it does, but it just makes it so pigmented on your eye. I have been using this technique a lot lately with this dewy mist and it just makes my eyeshadow really pop and it lasts all day long. In fact, when I've been using the Hella palette from Angelica Nyqvist, I have been using the Argan Oil, the dewy mist to put some of those like super bright eyeshadows on my eyes and it just looks gorgeous. Look how pretty that is. It's just very bright, poppy, full of life. I need a little bit of this. Then we're taking the B100 again and we're just going to kind of blend and blur that line right there, right here. For the inner corner, I'm gonna be taking Davina, which is this shade right here. It's a very beautiful like champagne shade. I have done a swatch comparison between this shade and the old Shima Shima shade from Makeup Geek. It is an exact dupe for that. So that old shade is actually not available anymore because Makeup Geek is going out of business and I have the old formula of the Shima Shima. So if you guys are looking for a exact dupe of Shima Shima, this palette has it. It is the Davina shade right there. 
It is insane and astonishing how much it looks like the Shima Shima formula, and it is beautiful. So I'm just putting Davina on the inner corner, and you can see how it kind of like just brightened everything up, like so. Super pretty. I am going to just do the under lashes. What do you call it? The lower lash line. We're just going to shade the lower lash line. I have a Shein brush. It's just a super teeny tiny little brush like this. I'm going to take Alma right here. And we're just going to shade under my eyes like so. It's very pigmented, so I will take a different brush and I will just kind of diffuse this out. After I'm done, taking the B121, and this is the Tresluche one, and we're just going to blend that shadow in my under eye. See the difference between the two? So this one is a little bit more diffused out, this one isn't, so my eye looks, I feel like my eye pops more on this side right now. See how it like, my eyes look more framed and it's more diffused so it doesn't look so closed in and I really like that. That looks super pretty. It's a really gorgeous like eyeshadow look. I do. That's really pretty. It's like subtle, perfect. We only use technically four shades out of the eyeshadow palette but you could get away with using three. You could get away with using all of them if you wanted to. Very gorgeous little teeny tiny eyeshadow palette. So let's put on my mascara, let's do my eyebrows, I'm gonna put on some lips and then I will be back with you guys in a moment to do a final, like final thoughts on this little palette. Who is this person? Like what is going on? I never put on lashes. This took me a hot minute, maybe I will include a, a little snippet of me like playing with these a lot. They say that the more you put them on, the easier it is for you to put them on like later in life. So I had a friend who told me always look down when you put them on and I guess that helped a little bit. Hopefully they look okay. I'm not usually the type of person to do lashes, but I was like, oh, let's try it today. Like, let's try some lashes today. So here is the completed makeup look. Everything that is on my face, I will leave in the description box down below. Like we're talking foundation, we're talking concealer, powder, all that kind of stuff. I actually put a lot on my face today. I was very surprised, but it ended up turning really, really pretty. I am into cream blushes at the moment and I literally just layered like two cream blushes and a powder blush like on top and it just looks so pretty and like glowy and pretty. So yeah. Go look at the description box for all the stuff that I put on my face. And let's talk a little bit about this palette. Let's just give my final thoughts on this palette. I think that the overall for $26, I think that's kind of a lot to ask for for a teeny tiny little palette like this. Net weight is 0.17 ounces, so five grams. That's not a lot of product in here, however, the quality is so good. Like I love the quality of these shadows. They are very metallic. The mattes blend out seamlessly. They are so pigmented. I think the thing that I really like the most about this palette is how compact it is. Like this is my hand. This is the little palette. Like it fits in my hand, which is what's so nice about it. So I really like how compact this is. I also really enjoy the color story in here. I think that if you're going on vacation, which hopefully those like startups and where you're actually like traveling, this would be the palette I would bring with me because it's so tiny, so versatile. You're going on one of those weekender, you know, vacations where you're only using like a teeny tiny little bag. This is perfect for it. And you can actually use all of these shades in here, create some really beautiful looks. Like you can do something really glam over the top, kind of like what I'm wearing today with like that pop of color. If you don't want to bring an actual highlighter for your face, the Davina shade in here is so pretty. It's just a little pop of highlight on your face. Like, whoa, that like really like amped it up, whoa. So it's definitely one of those palettes that is like multi-use. You can use this obviously for your eyes. I like using the eyeshadow as like an actual highlight on my face sometimes. I think it looks absolutely stunning. 
like look how much it amped up the highlight on my face just by doing a little like dab dab in there. They're very pigmented. They're absolutely beautiful. 100% recommend. So you can get it on their site, thetrustlouchebeauty.com, or you can get it on Ulta Beauty now. Really enjoy these brushes a lot. So like if you get a brush set, you get this, you're all, you're all good to go. Like you have what you need for your little makeup bag. Spring break is coming up soon here in New York. So, I mean, this is like the perfect opportunity to grab yourself a cute little palette and you're ready to like hit the road and go places, hopefully, with, you know, everything that's going on. I hope you guys like this video, like this tutorial. Go check out Trezluche Beauty. It is a new brand on Ulta, but it also is an independent brand. And if you guys like this kind of content and you want to see my beautiful face again, please consider subscribing, hitting your notification bell, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!